Hey everybody, this is PB, and I'm going to show you guys how to use the eBoot Builder by Chris for Black Ops on Update 1.19, which is current right now. So, when you open up the folder, um, unzip it and open it, uh, it's got the eBoot Builder EXE right here, and you'll see it has a default elf and self already in here. That's good because then that way you don't have to go find one. So uh, go right to double click and open the eBoot Builder. If you click your search button to find your elf, it's automatically going to detect this one right here. So um, you don't have to go find one. Uh, unless you go mess around, then it won't. Then you'll have to actually uh, navigate to get that again. So click on it so it's highlighted. Hit open. You'll see it was loaded successfully. Hit open. Okay, and you pick what you want. I like Redbox, VSAT, um, UAV, uh, I'll do custom FPS. You want to make sure you do your anti bands, and uh, they say this is important. I, I don't know much about all that, so. Um, cheap protection, force host, uh, multiplayer, and this will set it up so whenever you go in, it'll automatically force host in zombie and in multiplayer. Now some people that don't work for like me that has terrible internet, you don't want that. But anyways, if you don't don't have a problem with it, go ahead and use it. Okay, so what you can do here is you can either make a US version, you can make a European version, you can make the P uh the PSN version or you can do a debug. A debug can be used, I know it can be used for the European or the BLUS, but I'm not sure if it'll work for um, the PSN. I, it says it's, a debug is supposed to cover all the bases, supposedly, so. Um, then all you gotta do is hit build. And it'll say successfully created if you've done it right, and you'll see you have an eBoot right here. And take that eBoot, put it into your game folder, you're good to go. I'm going to delete it because I'm not going to use it, and then I'm going to show you what to do to clean up. Okay, when you use that that ELF file, it created a backup of the original, and then it also saved a copy of the ELF that you modded. In order to use this tool again, um, and have it set up again, you're going to want to get rid of the modded. So I'm just going to delete it. And you're going to rename this one back to what it originally was. Just take off the dot back. And when you go to do that, it's going to ask you, uh, it's going to say you change the extension. Are you sure you want to do that? You just say yes. And then that way, when you go to um, run this builder again, it will recognize and load the default um, alpha again. You don't ever want to lose your defaults here, or else you have to go get them out of your game folder, or you know, or go find one on the internet. So, you definitely want to take care of these. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed that and it helped you a little bit. Um, later on.